I think industry should be well beyond the point of complaining about this stuff. If you look at those that are disaffected, those that feel excluded, actually we should be working hard to make sure we have our businesses in the right place, we comply with the regulation and we should be working on stuff that allows a greater degree of inclusion. If we can get that greater degree of inclusion and we do things right, then actually that's the means of making sure that the regulator or the politicians behind the regulator do not feel that they need to be more intrusive. Something I think we have to work really, really hard at over the course of the next few years. The regulatory agenda is at a level which is taking up any excess ability to invest in the business outside of um, growth or other initiatives that we'd like to do. Also, I'd argue that the regulatory agenda is so different across the globe. It's affecting our, our, what we have to do in the US to what we have to do in Europe to what we have to do in Australia, for example, means that we've got competing responsibilities and requirements and none of them are coordinated and none of them are staggered in a way that we can do one and sequentially deal with them. The UK regulatory environment where we operate is seen as one of the, the standard bearers of regulation across the globe. If we can sit there and satisfy the UK regulatory environment, I honestly believe that we'll be dealing with our clients in the best possible way, really proving to them how important they are, how they're the centre of our business on a global basis.